So students, last class we discussed <coughs> uh, some problems on equation solvable for y in the category uh, for differential equations of order 1 and higher degree. Okay, in today's class also I would like to continue some more problems on equation solvable for y. Yes, uh, let us uh, take this one y is equal to 3x plus a log p y is equal to 3x plus a log p. So, write this equation first. y is equal to 3x plus a log p. So, take this equation is 1, differentiate 1 with respect to x. So, differentiation of y with respect to x is dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to differentiation of x is 1. So, it is 3 into 1 plus a into differentiation of log p is 1 by p into dp by dx ok. So, now dy by dx can be written as p p and take this 3 to left hand side it is minus 3 this is equal to a by p into dp by dx. We can solve this by using uh, the method of variable separable form. Okay, now you take this dx to left hand side. So, taking cross multiplication, dx is equal to a by p into p minus 3 into dp by dx into dp. This into dp. So, now integrating this with respect to integrating this integrating this integration of dx is equal to a into integration of 1 by p into p minus 3 into dp. So, to integrate this you resolve into partial fraction. So, it is 1 by p into p minus 3 this is equal to a by p plus b by p minus 3 b by p minus 3 so now 1 is equal to a into p minus 3 plus b into p <coughs> To find the value of this a and b, we take first p is equal to 0. If we take p is 0 here, take p is 0, which implies that uh, 1 is equal to a into 0 minus 3. So, a is equal to minus 1 by 3. And again, you take p is equal to 3. So, if p is 3, which implies that this becomes 0, 1 is equal to 3b or b is equal to 1 by 3. So, you can avoid the partial fraction also. So, the real thing avoid the partial fraction. So, now you take this as 1 by p into p minus 3 can be written as a that is minus 1 by 3 by p plus 1 by 3 by p by p minus 3 ok. So, partial fractions beta on you can do like this. So, all problems are there but now uh, you can write it is 1 by p into p minus 3 into dp. 
so you can write it is 1 by 3 into 3 by p into p minus 3 so now i am multiplying numerator and denominator by p again what do you do after this you add p and subtract p adding p and subtracting p subtracting p adding p in numerator so now this is is equal to 1 by 3 into integration of you take minus as a common factor then it becomes p minus 3 p minus 3 by p into p minus 3 okay plus p by this into dp plus 1 by 3 into integration of p by p into p minus 3 into dp this p and p cancels this p minus 3 cancel with p minus 3 so then you all then also you get the same thing minus 1 by 3 by p plus 1 by 3 by p minus 3 into dp okay so therefore we have what is there in numerator integration of dx is equal to a so integration of dx integration of dx is x is equal to a into integration of minus 1 by 3 by p plus 1 by 3 by p minus 3 into dp plus a constant of integration you take it as c now x is equal to a into you can take 1 by 3 as the common factor so this is a by 3 into integration of 1 by p is uh, log p so it is minus log p plus log of p minus 3 plus constant c so that is x is equal to x is equal to a by 3 a by 3 into log of log a minus log b is log a by b so that is log of p minus 3 by p plus constant so this is the value of x so if you wanted to find uh, if it is uh, difficult to separate p tumba difficult in a but to separate mod with mod okay okay so otherwise you express y in terms of x andre kutira equation there. so y is equal to 3x plus a log p in this one you substitute the value of x y is equal to 3x so you take this expression is 2 substituting 2 substituting 2 substituting 2 in 1 we get that y is equal to 3x x is a by 3 log of p minus 3 by p plus c plus y is equal to 3x plus a log p 3x plus a log p plus a log p so that is y is equal to so if you multiply this with a then it is a log a log p minus 3 by p plus 3c constant plus a log p sorry it may not be easy okay so it is y is equal to a log p it is like this log a plus log b is log a b so again i turn right on so this is y is equal to a into log of p minus 3 by p into p plus 3 this is because you see if you take a as a common factor so it is it is like this log a plus log b agate so log a plus log b can be written as log a b that is log of p minus 3 by p into p you can cancel this p and p so y is is equal to a log p minus 3 plus 3c so therefore the solution is solution 
is x is equal to a by 3 x is equal to a by 3 log of p minus 3 by p plus constant y is equal to a log p minus 3 plus 3. so these two solutions so these two equations form the solution to given differential equations so you separate mod bodo you try okay separate mod other than p in terms of exponential function but you can the log na remove one of the so e to the power of x ether in other bar bodo okay you just to go and try otherwise you keep the solutions like this ether it both umbrella so if you write the solution like this then p is the parameter p in another parameter so again so one more equation xp square is equal to 2py plus ax so we need to separate y first so you can write it this equation is 2py is equal to 2py is equal to xp square plus ax you take this equation is 1 or you write y or 2y is equal to xp square by p plus ax divided by p 2y is equal to x into p plus ax by p now you differentiate this with respect to x differentiation of y with respect to x is dy by dx dy by dx is equal to okay x into differentiation of p with respect to x is dp by dx plus dp as it is differentiation of x is 1 plus similarly a into differentiation of x is 1 by p plus in next step you write ax as it is differentiation of 1 by p is minus 1 by p square differentiation of 1 by p is minus 1 by p square into dp by dx so this into dp by dx so now you write this is p 2p is equal to 2p okay this becomes 2p 2p is equal to x into dp by dx x into dp by dx plus p plus p plus a by p plus sorry this this uh, plus into minus is minus this becomes minus minus a x by p square a x by p square into d by dx ax by p square into dp by dx again if it is uh, 2p comes to right hand side it is minus 2p so p minus 2p is minus p so 0 is equal to this is minus p plus a by p minus p plus a by p so next you write these terms x into dp by dx x into p by dx minus ax by p square ax by p square into dp by dx so now this is is equal to here we can take that uh, p is the common factor p is the common factor really p in a common factor the one or you take minus p is the common factor here so if this minus p comes outside remaining here is 1 minus one the p in a numerator lock of it so multiplying numerator and denominator in with p so one p numerator so remaining is p square in the denominator so this is a by p square similarly here you take 
x into dp by dx is the common factor x into dp by dx is the common factor so remaining here is 1 minus so x and dp by dx comes outside remaining is a by p square here p square again you take 1 minus a by p square is the common factor 1 minus a by p square is the common factor so remaining here is minus p plus x into dx is okay now ignore the factor which is not containing dp by dx okay ignore first factor of the right hand side so now which implies that minus p plus x into dp by dx is equal to 0 or x into dp by dx is equal to plus p or you write this is dp by p is equal to dx by x integrating this <coughs> so integrating this integration of dp by p is equal to integration of dx by x plus constant of integration you take it is log c that is log p is equal to log x plus log c which is, is equal to log p is equal to log of c x cancel log on both sides so now p is equal to c x you take this expression is 2 substituting 2 in equation 1 what is equation 1 is 2py is equal to xp square plus ax. Substituting 2 in 1. Okay, just continuing here. Substituting equation 2 in 1. Then, so p is equal to cx. If you substitute p is equal to cx here, xp square minus xp square or 2py is equal to xp square, 2py, 2py is equal to 2py is equal to xp square plus x, xp square, x p square plus a x x p square plus a x okay simplifying this so its simplification gives that 2 c x y 2 c x y is equal to you can take x is the common factor here if x is the common factor remaining here is c square x square plus a so now you take cancel this x on both sides so that is 2 c y is equal to c square x square plus a so or you can take this uh, c to right hand side okay so this is the equation not consists of p p andra so then it is the solution of the given equation solution of the given equation okay so now again you take one more example y is equal to px plus x to the power 4 into p square you write this equation is y is equal to px y is equal to minus px plus x to the power 4 into p square so differentiate this with respect to 
x you take this equation is 1 so dy by dx dy by dx is equal to minus p into differentiation of x is 1 minus differentiation of p is dp by dx and keep x as this plus x to the power 4 has it is differentiation of p square is 2p into d by dx plus differentiation of x to the power 4 is 4x cube into p square 4x cube into p square Okay, next step we have <coughs> dy by dx can be written as p. This is p is equal to minus p minus x into dp by dx plus 2p x to the power 4 into dp by dx plus 4 x cube p square plus 4 x cube p square so take this p to right hand side it is 0 is equal to uh, minus p it becomes minus p minus p b is minus 2 p minus 2 p plus 4 x cube into p square and here this is uh, minus x to dp by dx plus 2p x to the power 4 into dp by dx. Okay, so now you take uh, minus 2p is the common factor here. 0 is equal to minus 2p you take this vector remaining here is 1 minus 2 into 1 of the p comes outside and 2 comes outside remaining is 2x cube 2x cube p remaining is 2x cube p here you take minus x into dp by dx is common factor minus x into dp by dx is a common factor so remaining here is 1 minus 2p into x cube okay again you take 1 minus 2 x cube p is a common factor 1 minus 2 x cube p it comes outside remaining here is minus 2 p minus x into dp by dx minus x into dp by dx <coughs> So now in this ignore the factor which is not con con containing dp by dx. dp by dx illila adana ignore maade. So if ignoring that one, now remaining is minus 2p minus x into dp by dx is equal to 0. Minus x into dp by dx is equal to take this uh, 2p to right hand side it is plus 2p okay now again you write this is uh, dp by p dp by p or minus dp by p is equal to 2 into dx by x directing this minus integration of dp by p is equal to 2 into integration of dx by x plus constant of integration you take this log c so minus log p is equal to 2 log x because integration of 1 by x is log x plus log c so again this is log p, p inverse log 
p to the minus 1 is equal to so this is log x square log x square plus log c so which is, is equal to log of c x square log of c x square so this is log p inverse or log p to the 1 by p log of 1 by p so this cancels so 1 by p is equal to c x square okay or p is equal to 1 by c x square take this expression is 2 so substituting this 2 in equation 1 so equation 1 is y is equal to minus p x plus x to the power 4 into p square okay so now substituting or using 2 in 1 using 2 in 1 so we get that using 2 in 1 so we get y is equal to or y is yes, y is equal to minus p so minus uh, px p is 1 by c x square into x minus p x plus x to the power 4 into p square p square is 1 by c x to the power 2 whole square okay now y is equal to minus 1 by c x one of the x cancels here okay so and this x to the power 4 cancel with x to the power 4 remaining here is plus 1 by c square 1 by c square so that's all uh, this is the solution or you can write this solution as y plus kx is equal to k square where k is equal to 1 by c, k is equal to 1 by c, okay. So, with this, uh, I wanted to end this session and this complete solve the problems in equation solvable for y. So, if possible, you try to solve these two equations, so these two problems, okay. So, they are easy one. So, next class, I will start um, planets equation. So, that is the fourth category of equations. Thank you.